Hello, Cobras, and welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland 2. I am Strike Light Tamer, and we're gonna be burning our way, <laughs> blazing through, because yeah, I like to make jokes about blazing for 20, you know, uh, smoke Hitler every day, because that's actually Hitler's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and an acronym for that is SHED, and it's Mr. Frosty! But unfortunately, Burn doesn't do extra power, even though he's ice type. Pokemon Logic, why don't you come into play? Yeah, shake your butt at me. Kick your ice. It's an ice block, not ice ball. Gotta compare everything to Pokemon, you know? Or it's ice kick. And too bad it can't be adorable, uh, ice clamor looking Kirby. Let's just grab ourselves a little bit of kind, kind. And overkill our way through. And, uh, if you wait a few seconds while just having one going, he'll, you'll, like, kind of freeze in place for a second, but if you just keep tapping it, <laughs> you're golden, so... Yeah, definitely over your kill your way with that. Alternate between A and B to kind of pick up speed. Alright, for rhyming. I'm not gonna pick up that maximum tomato. Ugh, jumping up looks so weird. It's like, you can't really be at the tip of the water in this press A because they're just, uh, slightly bob out, but if you approach from a little bit of momentumism, you'll be good. Yeah! Then there's those trapped slippies down there. Poor slippies. They slipped away from the normal ways of life. Why does King DDD make them that way? Okay, just get through, and oh boy, careful there because there's death below, and death above, and all around, and holy heckity hoople ice physics I do not like. Do 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 do. Aw, the ice music isn't full kicking in because I'm using the ice power. The ice music isn't full kicking in. And it's actually, uh, uh, kind of theme that I was talking about, yeah. <laughs> like, whenever you have an animal buddy, their themes are always playing. <laughs> Aside from the normal level music, so it feels like you barely get to see it, and I almost didn't make it to the 1-up. Like, only through practicing, I think I've only gotten to the 1-up, like, once or twice, so, so yeah, it's kind of weird. And, oh boy, let's get into level 4, where the ever-dreaded, uh, rainbow drop awaits. And from the start, we got the Freedy. So, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, I have a good strategy for him, because I've fought him so many times. Just kind of stay below and kind of let him hang around here, and he's gonna, of course, blaze off to the side, but if he does a full forward blaze, at least he goes straight through. And the annoying thing, we don't exactly need it, I could've gotten right there, but I didn't desire him. I just want to have kind with me, because yeah. And we need to go through with the fire ability. We don't need to go through because it's actually going to be uh, uh, flamers at the end of this path. But the way I was playing, I, I carried fire ability with me. And as you can tell, it's hard to keep up with. And I died. Okay, I made it over this way. And what sucks is that when you die, you lose animal friends. So that's going to be bad. So I'll either have to beat the level and replay it. Or get myself a game over. Come on, why can't that have been that way? Okay, here I am, made it to the end, rocky like a hurricane, blah blah blah. And yeah, there's a burn power that you can get, and you can make it to the door, wow. So yeah, my recommendation for that room is to have ice cane and not worry about a damn thing, so yeah. And get the fire at the end, of course. Make your way through all of this, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you're gonna have to go through. It's easily the most annoying in the game, if I, well, haven't really uh, looked much into past World 5, so I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna be, but... What most people seem to say is that, uh, World Force is worse, because, yeah, you're also gonna need to have burn power and make way all the way to the end, but I'll be back here with Kane, so. As for now, I'm just going to complete the level, then return with Kine. I don't know what, I always call him Kane for some reason. Like, Kine the Fish. Like, it makes it sound like his name is Kind with a D. Like, my name is Kind. A very kind name. Like, you don't have a polite, cool name that is friendly. Like, ugh, I don't know. Then there's that stupid blipper at the end that could have potentially screwed me over because I could have fallen into the spice or taken that little piece of health. Okay, let's do this. Okay, shoot three times. Do not shoot those. Don't take the bait because uh, kind can't go through and you could do it as Kirby, but uh, it's too much effort to like get rid of the copy ability as well because you lose the copy ability before you uh, lose your animal friends. So yeah, either way it would be detrimental to you because you need kind for this. And this is quite annoying. Okay, stuff that in. Get it back. Okay. And now let's... Get that out. No. Okay. Okay, this is really, really stingy right here. Lose it. Suck. Get that. Whew. I'm surprised I did that first attempt from actually entering with the fiery ability. So yeah, there we go. 
get in here, and you also need to keep fire ability for this. Well, it's not really much effort because you really need fire to get in, mainly. Yeah. There we go, let's get it. And out we go, and I'm gonna say goodbye to all of my wares because... Boss time, Ice Dragon! Yeah! Although fire would be super effective, actually it would be normally effective because I secure a Ice Dragon type, even though it's a little bit of a bear tick because it can use uh, Icicle Crash or... Since there's two to five times of things, it is Icicle Spear. <laughs> Uh, all the Pokemon references, I gotta make all of them. And Kane is, er, Kine, jeez. Kine is an ocean sunfish, which, uh, yeah, it's like one of those fancy looking fishes you see. Fish, <laughs> fish. Yeah. I once had a dream of a Pokemon, like a water battle with a Pokemon called Fish that is like an ocean sunfish. And yeah, kind of looks between Kine and Gil from Finding Nemo because that's kind of what Gil is, even though. I don't think it's an ocean sunfish. A lot of fish look alike. Clownfish are cool, and there's clownfish Pokemon. Don't really need too many fish Pokemon because uh, I believe water statistically has the most Pokemon for that type because, yeah, water, so much of that in the world. Okay, final hit, hey, let's do it. There we go. Gotta do your dance before you collect the awesome thing. But in Kirby's Dream Mode 1, you collect awesome thing, and then you do the dance. Yeah. That would make the most sense. Yeah, victory dance, okay, that's an awesome thing. Uh, okay. Well, before I end off this episode, I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different. Um, if you actually revisit boss levels, you can play bonus chance. Welcome to bonus game. And you can basically, uh, knock a hit and try to get a bunch of stars. After a certain number of stars, it's over. Yeah, this is a pretty easy one. Yeah, you get a few few stars, like 10-ish or so, and yeah, get a cer this certain number without getting hit by an enemy, and you win. And that's it. Hooray! I am Vinner. I thought I pressed A, but or did Cooper do the jumping? Cooper? <laughs> Kirby do the jumping on his own time? Um, time but yeah. Okay, I was thinking about ending the episode there, but I'm actually going to go ahead and continue into level 5, Red Canyon, and of course a little bit more of Rick rolling, like it's still in there. Ooh, ha ho! Then Kirby turns into awesome mode. And then there's the awesome music of awesomeness, oh yeah, and it's so awesome! I kind of voice right there. Yeah, I was just letting the music play, but the mu same music is still playing. Nope, don't you try to do that, Mr. D. De Wadol. Bouncies are being cute, except they're not too cute. Just because they have a bow doesn't mean they're cute. Yeah, there I go with my non ramming again. And then there's always the weird tingles and trills going on within the music as we fight Mr. Green again. Two more hits will do men. Here's the second hit. Kaboom, I missed. All right, as if that didn't happen. Now I will finish him off after he uses Swift. Man, so many things use Swift in this. Let's get Spark ability and combine it with Rick. Ooh, Rick Spark. It's basically a beam power up. And that's actually what we need for our uh, rainbow drop, but uh, <laughs> that's not going to appear until the fifth level, so yeah. Kinda uh, just as a forewarning, so yeah. There's your two powers easily available for you right there, and if you missed it from Mr. Green for some reason, like, maybe he just dissolves too fast for you, and good thing I could've made it back up. Yeah. Uh, you need Spark and Rick to get a beam-like power-up, because beam didn't, well, well, wasn't used in this game, in death. Okay, let's get through that, that was a little bit um, on the annoying side. Make our way up here and get myself a burning power, and let's precisionate. And that's so suspicious show, cause the diamond is incomplete. It's like an eye or something, but yeah, it's an inch away, two a couple of propellers, and a one of, and a drink of healthy stuff, yeah. Then you go back the same way you came in. It's like, oh no, I'm stuck in here. I almost felt that way for like a split second, it's like, oh yeah, same way I came in. Science, because... Common sense is totally science. Yeah. <laughs> Common sense is kind of com er, er, science to some people in the world. Because, or a lot of people actually, because it doesn't really seem that too many people have this thing called common sense that I feel I do have. Because sometimes people are just like so oblivious to the world, but I don't know. Not c pointing anybody out. I mean, like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm friends with some sensible people. 
you know who you are. Well, basically anybody in Princeton, I get to know like how they are. But yeah, <laughs> enough of that touchy matter. Let's just uh, float past all this, and there'll be a little bit of death, like that Scarpy there. Who, oh boy, float up. Who? I need health. I need a doctor because we're raising a uh, bad word. I don't even remember how that goes. It was on Anna meme, the the meme of the stair father. Shot so, haha. <laughs> I have bested the shot so when he bested his own friend, even though I must have done it by shooting that shot so do shooting. Oh, I wanna have spark power. And too bad Waddle Dee's like that can give me power. Okay, cutter. I haven't really used much of cutter, yeah. Cutter from Sir Kibbles. Kibbles in Kibbles. And here's Blade. You can't kill him and you, there's no sword ability to get from him and dead. Okay, enough of the bullshit and deaths. Let's enter the exit. Yeah, I died by the blade twice. And in the next episode, we'll be heading to level 2 of Red Cannon, probably finishing up, and now it's got this weird bonky bonky music, because bonky bonky is definitely worth to describe. Maybe it's automatopoeia, I guess, or something. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, until next time, do not toast yourself.